why is my cell phone there? Well, it's a very easy explanation. Uh, yeah. My name is Mike Kovalchuk. For past decade, I've been in the automotive alternative fuel industry, specializing in compressed natural gas. An opportunity has come in my life to expand my talents. Follow me as I get into vehicle restoration and vehicle testing. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick walk around with the car that I'm working on real quick. You can see that it's an awesome car. It's a 94 Mustang Cobra. I'll go over a little bit more of things that I have to do to it to get it running and what else has to be done but one thing I want to tell you guys is that this car has to be done by the end of this week so I'll be scheduling in alignment today uh, ordering parts so the biggest issue I'm having is the uh, speedometer is not working as you can see and uh, the low coolant sensors out so we'll order a new sensor today and the seat mechanism, which it works, but uh, there's a uh, upgrade you can get, which is more reliable and sturdy. So the intent, the seat intends to go out. I'll show you why later after I take it apart. But we're almost at speed, it's out of parts right now. And we're gonna, oh, look at that, that's like good. We're gonna pick up the speedometer and we'll change it real quick when we get it. I have uh, an appointment made for alignment the alignment needs to be done here because you know, look at the steering wheel this is going straight right here watch this i'm going to show you why it needs to be done okay if you go straight look it's a little it's a little to the side plus when i drive on interstate it will pull to the left so the steering wheel needs to go this way look at this it's straight right there so it will have to go this way and the wheels i mean the alignment guys will do it so the appointment is at 2 30. perfect there we go, perfect first class parking. Da -da -da -da. We are here. Speedy is used auto parts. Excellent. Doing this almost the same mileage. 14 versus. Yeah, it's perfect. Couldn't have been more perfect than this. I actually got the speedometer with almost the same mileage on it. Wow, that's amazing. We're a couple thousand off, but we're not going to mess with it. All right. Oh, that's a good buy. Okay, I put the top down. The reason is it's easier to work because you can access it. You can see. Set in and out, whatever. So, we're, we're about to change the speedometer shortly here. At this point of time, I gotta go order parts real quick, so let's go do that. It's the sensor I'll be needing. This is the I'm gonna order right now, it's $50, so order it off eBay, see if it's gonna work or not. Oh, what is this? Looks like a Whipple supercharger, huh? <laughs> so, anyway, what's going on with it? Что, мне не раз что снимать, то ему оставлять. Okay. So we're gonna actually send it into Whipple and exchange it for this truck. Okay. Okay, we'll take off the whole screen here to in order to clean out the inside. So let's go ahead and do that.
I got bad news. This bad boy right here, just installed it, doesn't work. Now I forgot to actually vlog the process. It's very simple. I guess I'll show you real quick. Sorry guys, I forgot to vlog it, I was so excited. Okay, so basically what we have here, we got, okay, let me show you how it's done. Knob, this comes out, and then if you can get it out like that, you gotta use a screwdriver to put it in there. You got two bolts right there at the top, and four on the side, and it just pops right out. So I guess, well, I would show you again, but no point, because this thing doesn't work, I gotta take it back. <sighs> that sucks, it's gonna put me behind a day or two. So I gotta now probably order one. Uh, I'm gonna order one probably offline, brand new one, that's it. It's just I can't, I don't have time to mess with it. I should've known from the beginning, lesson learned, do not buy things from junkyard, that kind of value. So, that sucks. Oh well, not a big deal, we just gotta order another one. Okay, so the cluster issue. This, no good. Looks like even it's even burned like right here, you see that? Looks like it's messed up. The circuit's itself messed up. So I gotta return this, and my options are right now either buy one from eBay for $420, which is a, a rebuilt speedometer or instrumental <laughs> cluster, or get it rebuilt. So basically, I am researching right now to find a company that will rebuild my instrumental cluster. Comment if you guys know of any. Thank you. I'll need all the help I can get at this point of time. Тут тут розвернуться, ну ми треба туди давати, зараз буде давати якось, чи як ти звонився. Да, в принципі так. Alright, і коротше, давай розвертайся, я пішов, все, твій шраф, ісподня, як повалізуватися. Будеш дивитися, що тут було, арабо ді, букову нажимаєш, паркуєш, поки парк нажав. Я вже на, на, на бок подійдеш, потім на припаркуєш. Окей, ми маємо вирішити на Корнерстоун, Корнерстоун Аро. Тут є кар, алаймент є зроблено, екселент. All right, how you guys doing? Why not this John? Okay, Daniel. Daniel, for uh, why not I'm not looking for? Four years. plus what I'm looking for is an exhaust flange, a nut and stud. I don't know. Thank you. Also, I'm going to say, you're going to build a 540. Yeah. And I'm going to call it a 3. And they'll... A 2. What was that? It was out. It was pulled in. Pulled in? And you got the steering wheel straight too, everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate hey, it. One more quick question. Do you know anybody who does cluster repair? Cluster repair? Yeah. No. There's a place in Charlotte if they're still there. Um, cluster repair, Brad. The place in Charlotte's the only one that's even close to. I would just get on the internet. Thank you. No one around here. Guys, thank you so much. I didn't know you guys were here. So I'm going to ride the corner too. So we'll see ya. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's check this out. Hopefully it's fixed. Okay. So it was pretty out. You heard a guy, what he said. So hopefully we're good on alignment now. We can check that off. The only thing right now, I don't know what to do with the, with the cluster. I do not know what to do with the instrumental cluster. Guys, I do not, I have no idea right now. Who's gonna repair it? I gotta find somebody online. Hold on a second, guys. All right, let's see how this thing's gonna operate. Do -do -do -do. Da -da -da -da. Bunch of cars. Oh, here we go. There you go. Straight. Right there. Look at the steering wheel. You see that? Okay, hold on. Bad, bad example. Right there. Let's see if it pulls anywhere. Okay, this is straight. Same the way you place it. This should go straight the way you placed it. Looks like we're good. But the, the, uh, the main test is going to be on highway or on the interstate where we got flat, straight interstate road ahead of us which is good over here not too far away on 26 okay i'm not gonna do that today because uh, i'm gonna leave this car in inside the facility uh today i'll be taking uh, the x5 uh, 2010 x5 it's the car is owned by my parents it's actually my mom my mom's car and what's going on with that car 
it's a diesel and I can't pass inspection. Why I can't pass inspection? Because the EVAP monitor won't complete. If the EVAP doesn't complete, the catalyst doesn't complete. So it needs highway mileage. And today, that's what we're gonna do. I'll be driving from Arden to Greenville, that's where I live. Uh, it's about 70 miles each way, so it should give us plenty of my highway mileage to complete the monitor. And I have an OBD2 scan tool that I can check it tomorrow and see if it has completed. Okay, let's go pick up the BMW. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end my vlog here. It was a successful day. Uh, great morning working out. Uh, picked up the instrument cluster as planned. Yeah, it didn't work out as was planned when installing it because uh, I expected it to work. However, uh, at this point of time, uh, only one thing is left is to do more research online to see if anybody will, do, or there's company, because there are companies that actually repair instrument clusters, so I just gotta find the right place, or to go ahead and buy a repaired one, which is super expensive. So, hope everybody has a good evening. Thank you for watching, and uh, be sure to put the thumbs up or down, which either way you wanna do it. And if you're a new, new to my channel to MK Tech if you like please subscribe share and comment below everyone I want to hear you guys opinions if anybody knows where I can uh, or knows of a company that does uh, instrumental cluster repair please comment below let me know uh, uh, I still have to do a video of the E30 update and I will so uh, see you guys soon Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.